Hi, my name is Jenny Martin and I'm part of the 14th cohort at the Data School at the Information Lab and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a unit chart in Tableau. Now a unit chart is an alternative to a bar chart which has a little image that represents a certain number of units. So it's a bit more fun, maybe not visual best practice, but certainly more fun. Let's take a look at an example in Tableau. So this is showing uh, for all the squirrels in Central Parks, how do they break down by colour? So we have each of these little images representing 50 squirrels and you can see that by far the most common is grey squirrels. So we've got two components here, our legend that tells us how to read the chart and then the chart itself. So our data source is very simple, we have for each unique squirrel ID, so that's our very low level of detail there, and then our um, colours of their fur. Now this method that I'm showing you works because we have that um, each individual squirrel as a row. If it was um, aggregated, then this method might not work so well. So let's go ahead and build this chart together. So first of all, we're going to want our fur colour to be on the rows, and we're going to want our unique squirrel ID to be on the detail. And you can see that already we've got a unit chart of sorts. If I put that on entire view, you can see that they're all squares representing each individual squirrel. Now to change this to be our little squirrel shape, then we go into shape and we select more shapes and we find in our squirrel um, palette, we have a little squirrel icon. So we change that to be a squirrel and we hit OK. Now these are all very small and you can see that over here we have dot dot dots where they can't all fit. And that's because at the moment each squirrel is representing one. So it's a one to one relationship image to squirrels. So we want each of these icons to represent 50 squirrels instead. So how do we go about doing that? So we're going to use a calculated field here and we're going to call it grouping and we're going to use the index function and we're going to divide that by 50 because we want each one to represent 50 and then we're going to just make sure that this is an integer so we're going to wrap it in an int function and what that will do when we grab this and take it onto our columns and make sure we're computing it using our unique squirrel id is now you can see it's grouping them all to be in groups of 50 basically so if we make our size a little bit bigger then we can hopefully see that squirrel shape start to come through but you see it's quite blurry and that's because we have every single we have basically 50 marks stacked on top of each other here so if i highlight these two then you can see that we've got 55 marks still showing um whether it's only we only want there to be two so we need to use a filter to filter these out so i've already written this filtering calculation and we are saying using the modulo function here, which is this percentage sign. So we're saying for our index minus one, modulo 50. And that means that if the, what's the remainder when we divide that index minus one by 50. And if that remainder is zero, that's what we want to keep. So we pop this on our filter shelf and we select true, but then because we're using a table calculation, we need to just change what it's compute using. And we're computing using the unique squirrel ID setting it back to true and now you can see that that's all gone a lot less fuzzy and we can increase the size again to just see them a bit clearer that's a bit better they're all working there now one of the other things that we had on our chart that i showed you at the beginning was um, the actual number of squirrels that this is representing because we know this is representing roughly 100 at the moment so let's just drag uh, we're right clicking on the unique squirrel id we're dragging it to the label and we're going to select count distinct from the pop-up window and this isn't quite doing what we wanted to do it's telling us that there's one for each of these it's not actually counting them so because our unique squirrel id is on detail it can only count one at a time so we're going to use another table calculation we're going to double click on the pill on the label shelf and we're going to just add a bracket at the end and then write window sum um, at the beginning, making sure that we don't get rid of that count distinct. So it's window underscore sum and then count distinct unique squirrel ID. And that gives us our table calculation that we also want to compute using our unique squirrel ID. And now we get back to the numerical values. And then with a little bit of formatting, changing the colors, we can get quite nicely to um, this part of the visualization. But how do I add on the legend, you ask? Let's just go to that sheet and see. You can see that I've not actually used any of the fields here. I've just double clicked in the label shelf here and I've written that um, equals 50 squirrels in inverted commas. 
and put that on the label and change the marks type to be a shape and selected that scroll again so that then when we pop it onto our dashboard it just looks like that. So hopefully that's been informative for you to learn how to build a unit chart in Tableau. I hope you've enjoyed that and please feel free to check out more of our videos. Uh, there's a great one by my colleague Ruth who has showed you how to build a chord chart. So please do check that out next. Thanks for listening.